have beaten Furia in two out of three of the last BO3s played. Furia haven't beaten this team since Finland in October, September rather. So fast B play for Genji in this pistol round. It's going to be a quick couple of kills coming through for Bentet and Kusta. The P250s, these raid bosses, do boss Genji out into the site and set Furia up for a retake. Yeah, Kesaro and Henny, the two players with this very tall task of retaking the B-bomb site. And they'll take it with them into round number two, but it's not really much to write home about here for the Furious squad. At least Henny not getting tagged means that, you know, him being the opera in this squad, it kind of gives him a bit more freedom. Oh, Henny going to open this round up with a kill onto Kusta, no less. It was... A few more shots getting spammed through this smoke, and Som doesn't want to find himself in harm's way. He tries to go up and over, but Vinny does make quick work of him. These rifles have come out for Furia, and they've come in swinging to this round. A two-man advantage as it stands right now. Vinny's even upgraded off of that Galil. He's gotten out of here and now finds himself with an AK. You're very much relying on automatic finding this opening kill. And he's not able to do that. So this leaves Daps now all alone. Probably just a formality at this point in time, right? Looking like he wants to hold on to the AWP. And that actually makes a lot of sense for him. He's not going to have any money in the next round. Gez does now look a little bit tempted after Yuri offers that kill up. And maybe he can find a bomb plant here. Ooh, that Case Serrano, Serrano. yeah, <laughs> wrapping him. Has that round dead to rights. And Fury up. Yeah, this is actually the perfect timing, right, for Vinny to fall back into the bomb site. Henny holding for this push out from Maine. Does get traded by automatic, but 15 seconds left on this clock. Gen G, they've got to get this bomb down, and Vinny is still here, still a threat. Oh, and they might yeah, regret that they didn't deal with him earlier on because he's doubled up. This leaves Buntet now in a 1v3, and K Serato in the back line, able to pluck him out from the round. Always putting up numbers, and he's not, while he's often last alive, it's not off of him, you know, not having impact in the round. You see, he's the first to fall here as a smoke push comes through. It's a ballsy call from Gen G, but it's excellent. They could have lined up against the AWP, but instead they find it and set Fury up for a retake. Two, and this advantage, just a spray transfer that almost finds two kills. Kusta down to 10, and it might just send Fury out of this round. Now, there was a sweet wall bang that uh, I think you hit here the other night, Harry, maybe even last night. Even Vinny going up the pop dog. This is mental. This is mad. He's got a gap in the smoke. He can see if anyone's above him. And right now, he sees nothing. And I've seen players approach it like this before, but not necessarily with the smoke. You can sit just enough of an angle that you can really catch off the tees off guard right there. And he's not going to get the fight that he's looking for, but certainly the outside is going to get that attention. A spray through the oh. floor. Bintet comes out the lesser. And here's Henny. What can he do? Nothing against AWP against Henny. Nine here, and his teammates with AKs and Ops. Strange scene, oh. nonetheless, they're gonna get mopped up. And when I say they, I mean Kusta. He gets absolutely wrecked out of Team A. Now Vinny finds himself in a precarious situation where he's getting split from both ladder and mid. Wow. Oh, not able to answer the call when oh, he gets rushed dear. by both positions. And hey, Serato does fall shortly after Henny trying to deliver over here towards back green. They're still looking for Henny. They're still trying to find the whereabouts oh. of this Brazilian AWPer. And all this time that's been not necessarily wasted, but <gasps> spent trying to clear, allowed for this rap to come in from Yuri, but Automatic was ready for it. Bomb plant comes in, Henny making some noise here, and the player at Ebox has that round dead to rights. It's Buntet delivering three kills there to put a sixth round on the board for Gen G. Might just be on the cards as to where he knows where oh, he is. Oh dear. Oh, automatic not able to get away. That's now an AWP in the hands of Art. And that's not a good thing for Gen G. Thankfully, Som is ready up in the heavens and he does deal with him. At the first sign of trouble, Daps even wrapping onto Henny over here in Maine. And for Furia, it might just have to be the save again for K Serato and Yuri. They do have Yuri deep within the site, but Som's position in heaven is so frustrating to deal with, right? At this point in time, he doesn't have to take any more fights. And he can just serve as a bit of a distraction. And while Yuri was so fixed, Gen G going to find an eighth round on the board here. K Serato oh, no. might not even get away with this AWP. Daps is able to shut him down. I think most people won't really want to do that. That's my biggest hold up with ever using the RA. Oh, oh no. Right. 
What? That's going to completely throw a spanner in the works. Luckily, Genji, this was an out of play from the get-go. They just wanted to hit Inner for a kill. Look at Daps lurking. I think Genji actually did want B, but uh, they were going to have Daps coming on the connector. Instead, it's the A play, and the missed shot from the Orb does buy more time for Furia. And okay. this backline flank oh. from Yuri coming in behind. He's dropped one, and the bomb. He's found them both. Orb secured, and an eco win. All off of the back of Yuri. Four kills in that one. Yeah, Sam's going to get out towards Ivy, and it's looking like another one of these inner splits with a CT lurk. This time, Sam will have Vinny ready and waiting, though, to deal with him. And that throws a bit of a spanner in the works as the rest of Gen G try and flow out of upper. They get put to a pretty abrupt close here in this round. Daps left in a 1v4. It's not going to happen. Six on the board for Furia. Unfortunate stuff, but a fast play from Gen G. They want to end this half with a bang. And they will. is going to have the first bang in the round. They're going to have to run through his Molotov to commit to the site. Yuri chiming in from upper and Ooh. somehow isn't able to get the kill down onto Sam, who will be getting the bomb planted on the inner site. 3v3 on the retake here for Furia. Automatic pushing up close on the sidewalk. Doesn't want to let Furia get out and contaminate this bomb site, but Henny not able to bring his cross over the top of Automatic. That's going to make a big problem. Now just Vinny, 1v2, Som very low. Daps also on the case, Som stuck in the site. Knows that the bomb is planted for upper. Potentially find a player there in Som. Easy does it. Now he's just got to worry about where Daps is coming from. Is it upper? Is it lower? Did he go in the back of the train yard? He what? sees him at the very last second, oh, but ultimately dear. the time has run out. That is the half, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be G, or excuse me, Gen G. They put up a knight to the six. We all know how that goes. Yuri, all the way out to Olaf so far. This looks like an outside split right from the get-go here from Furia. And they have applied so much pressure to this outside site. They force Jinji back daps with the first kill of the round. And not what? the last, that's for sure. Automatic's going to find one. It looks like we could be getting a bomb plant here with a bit of a push from Automatic that could have been thwarted. Ooh. It's just simply not quick enough. In case Serato a little bit quicker on the trigger. And it doesn't matter all, be it at the end of the day. Jinji are going to get this defuse with ease. Three members remain alive in the form of Vintet, Daps, and Song. I wanted to see these guys buy up in the second, no matter how that pistol went. Oh, it's going to get dinged through a smoke immediately by Vintet. Automatic is here as well to stay. Bomb's been dropped by Daps. He does get away, goes back in for more, though, and gets punished for it. Bintet with his second of the round before the trade is in, and Yuri has to do it all. He's been great in this game. One kill to his name, but three more to find. Yeah, right here would be a crucial point for him to do it, too. They're going to drop a grenade on him. He's got 47 HP as the bomb has been planted default. Now, he's got to win this first duel with Automatic to even have a chance in this round, but Tim Ta is pushed up close. Almost personal. The timing couldn't have been worse for Kusta. Look at this. Yuri had the read on it, but it's Automatic, who's already just so close to solving the problem that he just goes ahead and does it himself. Well, Daps and Automatic, they're going to have a lot on their shoulders any second now. Daps... Oh dear, there's a bit of a pile up up on the upper rafters and Daps has afforded a kill on the back of it. Now they're lost in this smoke and Daps is just still fighting. Finally, Vinny will come in from ramp to deal the killing blow, but Buntet on this wraparound coming in on a pop blank oh. catches all of Fury by surprise and one by one, they get toppled. Gen G. Genji are playing, and now up against 14, because of these B rushes, Genji are already double stacked, they're already prepared. But Tet's pushed up, and we've got another player here, but he will fall at the first hurdle. But Tet's got to pick up the pieces, and he's done that at least. But one player pushed deep, dropped by Kustra on a rotation. And talking of rotation, Furia, they found one as well. They're running right back down the Pop Dog. Fire we put down upon them as they attempted to get inside. Nice. Now, the boost from Automatic is not going to yield the result desired. It's Yuri there with the AK. He fakes a plant, draws out a grenade, almost costs him his life. And then eventually it does. Henny, 1v3, Deagle in hands. Can't land the first shot on the Somme. That's going to be the end of that. 6 to 15. Gen G are in full control. Will be the solution required. There's a deep smoke throwing on over. It's going to try and assist them in getting out. And they do trade on to. Uh, Onto Som there. Kusta's playing close to the smoke, and hey, Serato gonna catch Buntet over uh -oh. towards main. That Molly burning Kusta sends him into the smoke, but they've heard it. However, okay. somehow, some way, he's still able to put that kill up on the board, and this leaves a two on two now for Gen G. Some real praise has to go Kusta's way for somehow getting yeah. one out of that situation. I don't think he ever should have. Daps has actually removed K Serato. And this leaves Henny in a very hot seat indeed. 1v2 to keep Train alive for the Furious side. 
bomb ticking away. That's the only oh. thing. And Automatic <laughs> did just see him there. He will finish the job. The defuse coming on through. And Gen G. Is it? I don't actually know what type of wood it is. I just guessed. Let's see. Kusta has been spotted over at the back left of the site, but this position is a very, very tricky one to deal with, especially lacking the Molotovs here in this pistol round. Now, that's not so much a criticism, it's just a statement. Who on yeah. earth is buying Molotovs in a pistol round? Kusta does nice. finally get dealt with over at the back left of the site, and Yuri was the man to deliver it. Now, while all this has been going down towards B, Case Lerato, has gotten a little bit curious as to what the A-Site has in store for him. And he's gotten very, very Ooh. deep. Automatic. Ooh, there they are, planting. And there he is. Oh, oh, my what? word. What is that? Buntet does get one of those kills. So it wasn't automatic with all three. But my goodness, that is not how that was meant to come together for Furia. Automatic has just torn this whole round apart. Henny had to pick it up. I think Furia are expecting more of a rotation off of A there, and I, I don't blame them for that. They run into A, but Genji still have Automatic and Bentec. Oh, he has seen him. He has. It was only a matter of time, and it's actually nice. art to deal with both players here at the top of ramp. Now, there is a secret. Still lying in wait, and he's going to go unchecked. There are Molotovs for Furia, so they can throw this in to try and clear Bunter out, but he actually swings on his own accord, and he sends them packing from the ramp room. This was looking good for Furia. Moments ago, this was a five on three, but yeah. Kuster and Bunter have turned it back on its head again for the Gen G side. And my word, Vinny and Art left in a two on three. This one, Ooh. well, that helps. But there's the flank from Daps. I say that, that's actually not that bad for Vinny. He now gets the information that there's a temporary 1v1 in the bomb site. It's it's clear how much work has gone in since that Cloud9 game because we didn't see any of these grenades really coming through for Gen G, at least not the same lineups uh, in that matchup. And they would have been met very helpful. And now they're saving Gen G in the grand final. Vinny's found one, but it's a retake and a four on four oh. with great damage through the wall. Yuri's low, but he's got to kill anyway. He's doubled it. How is he doing this on such low health? What? No one's stopping him. Daps will finally put the nail in the coffin, but he is on his own and he might have to run away with this orb. Like Mel Gibson always used to say, aim small, miss small. Yeah. But look at this by Vinny. A very aggressive angle here. Kusta somehow finds the frag. Just Ooh. by the hair on his chinny chin chin. Misses the flashbang a little bit. I'm not going to say that was on purpose because I don't think it was. But meanwhile, the purposeful hit here is from Furia. Kusta's got all the answers. Yeah, and he's got automatic here as well. Plus Daps is the three man setup inside of the site. Uh, nowhere for Furia to go but the graveyard. And he's trying to push. He's found a gap. He's found a smoke, but that's going to begin to fade. So he climbs above. Ooh, Daps crosses. That's a kill. Henny with a chance here. He's spotted the orb. Kuster at the back of the site mm. with his third kill of the round. Great work from Kuster, but this grenade See will ya. take him out of it. Oh, it almost misses. Luckily enough, it's not a problem. And automatic will be the solution. On an extremity somewhere, just hanging out and being volatile. And this round seems to be no different. Oh dear, but they are pressuring him and he was not ready for those repeats to come so swiftly from Furia. He does at least like act as a bit of an early warning system, right? So now they know this A play is on the cards from the Furia side. And that's allowed for two very early rotations over here, Buntet. Bested almost immediately though, and now automatic in the firing line. Everyone creeping up from short side. Daps has won his fight out over at B, and automatic still in with a chance of making this round competitive. Has boarded into Ooh. a two on two, but spammed through the smoke by Henny. I don't think Case Rado saw him, no. Neither one of them know where he is, but that thing is about Ooh. to come to an end. Sweet, slick shot there from Case Rado. It's going to be by toying with these very, very fast Gen G rotations, right? Because thus far, Ooh, oh, right. Vinny's going to catch a man through Back. the smoke. Yeah, thus far, you know, Gen G have shown that they do just rotate immediately on this first bit of contact. Yeah. And so that round there, they play with the timings. This round, Art <laughs> plays with his food over its short side before he deals a double, the killing blow to this A bomb site. This leaves automatic in a 1v4, a hell of a lot to do here. And this man has been good in these kind of scenarios, but even this is asking probably a little too much of automatic's AWP. They boost up on top of the boxes. He's not ready for it. Big grenades, big Molotovs coming out there for the side of Furia early on in this round, but Bintet, he's got the better end of the smoke. Ooh, good escape as well, right? He 
does have to go through a Molotov to do that, but he avoids getting traded. Oh, has hit a timing, but there's a player on the site watching for a good spot for Automatic. He's got the cover in front of him, which allows him to play a very typically risque angle, but luckily with two teammates in front of him, no worry, and he's got more as well. A second kill onto Caserato. A bit of a mess for Furia. They're trying to throw prob uh, players at the problem, but instead, these players are becoming the problem. Henny looking for answers. He's found Bentet in the site, but there's just so many more waves of opponents, and Kuster's killed the man on B. Henny may as well hang around here. He's got a second fight, but oh dear, they're all bang for automatic, ready to find a three-piece in the round. NIP esque re uh, retake execute, but right now it's all about the fights. No more utility, boost up, dropped off. Bentek gets a kill for it. They're gonna flash right through. They caught both players blinded. Good spray, and caserato has got a double kill. That opens up the plant here for Furia. It does. Automatic is stuck. He can back out towards the boost spot. Maybe just trying to pop Daps through, even <gasps> though Daps is gonna walk Ooh. right on through with that. It's a big problem. Somehow he doesn't win the duel. What on earth, Daps? Caserato gets out ahead there, and that is just unfortunate turn of events. Jin G. Bye. So trying to make the best of what you've got, but right now holding a default R Furia for a change. Henny's watching middle, and he won't let Bentek get aggressive. Spot on a second player who does fall back. Art getting tagged by a Molotov and bullets. Actually, I think it was just the bullets. Flash in, but they actually beat Son to it, and Yuri gets ahead of the, uh, the flashbang. Nice little grenade thrown over the window by Gen G, but Furia, they've got a uh, five on three. They've got the guns, they've got the kills, and they've got the A site. Yeah, quick as that, just Kusta. He's got a five, seven and a kit. Oh. What? Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> All playing a, uh, I guess he could see through like the, I, I can't even think knowing that there were a lot of players over towards B. Problem is, the longer you spend waiting around, the more of a rotation is going to come through. Art wastes absolutely no time waiting around. It's just not in his vocabulary. He's up in the faces of the players at the A bomb site. Caserato and co. following his footsteps, and this leaves Bentet in a 1v3. It does. As the last run of the half, there is going to be absolutely no save here today. Bentet trying to hold just a tight angle. Perhaps let someone walk in this firing line. Instead, he's going to give it to Caserato. That's a big one to take out early oh. on his retake. And I say that it all comes to a close. Art's thinking, look at this push. Oh, they double up at the sandbags. There's a smoke on Vinny. And so Henny takes these oh fights. My. And if they deal with Henny, that's when Vinny comes into the picture. It's the ultimate bait and switch. But the bait never even needs to switch places with the second man because Henny's done enough. This round comes to a crashing end for Gen G. Furia, a great pistol round. Hello. Oh, Yuri put up on this boost. Someone's got to check it for Gen G. And some will, but it's as the rest of the gang are lining up utility, so that trade can't come through. Usually, one of the things that's so risky about doing that boost is even if you get a kill, right, the amount of spam that starts to come through the moment they learn you're there, it's very easy to lose a player in that fashion, but not able to do that on the Gen G side because they get caught lining utility up, and this round might just fall apart on the back of it. Bye -bye. Yuri's even pushing short side. He's got automatic in the bag. This leaves Kuster on a mid lurk. He's shortly put in the ground as well. So Fury are going to keep this one going in their favor. Going to try and move through it. Their smoke's actually landed on top of it as well. So Caserato, the first kill down on B. The hunt is in. Vinny's dropped off like expected. He's found a kill and fallen safely into the site. This is a good setup from Furia. Everywhere Genji go, they're walking into two players. Apart from this ramp position, but the orb is eventually dropped. The mid lurk's dead. And now it's down to Kuster and Daps to make this one happen. Yeah, not an impossible round, though. They do get into the site, but getting this bomb down is a bit of a tenuous subject. Daps has oh. really got to have the back of Kuster, and he does fall short. The repeaks are thick and fast in response from Furia. Against Genji, but Genji just aren't giving up anything. They're just holding for over-aggression. When and who will that over-aggression come from is the question. Yuri's holding. Son goes into it. Oh, one by one they go, and Kuster's eventually got a trade, but it comes at a cost, and there's another man here they might not expect. Kuster has the bomb in his hands, and now the bomb on the ground. Henny looking for more, traded by Bentet. Caserato tagged her a smoke. Bentet hasn't heard it. He should have heard it, and he's looking back for it. He does do the damage. Down to 10, but it's still around for Genji falling off off of that contact, and he has some off this pixel. Oh, they're ready for it. That's a Damn. great shot, though. Bentet dead immediately. No chance to respond. Henny also with the orb finds another. So five on three, blink and you miss it. Gen G have got to fight up against 
everything here for Furia. Daps has taken the A site. How's this happen? How's he swap positions with the players that are pushed down? Daps killing the players in the back line. He's got Yuri looking the wrong way, uh -oh. but now the orbs trained on him and Art still pushed down on ramp. This is a mess. This is calamity. And Art might be able to close this round right here, right now. Trying to drop the bomb. He's got a fight. He's done damage. Automatics get gone dead in the water and Daps. <laughs> oh dear. It's a conga line of death on the other side. He is going to walk right into it. I'd love to see something like that in the mid round for Gen G. Just, just leaving A after you force the full rotate. Not enough teams do that in this game. R is really blinded, but he's got his support in the form of Yuri getting a kill from above. Daps trades, but he is gone straight after. Henny with the orb. It's a triple setup on this A site. And left, right. Good night. Gen G in a two on four. And they've just got to go back. What else do they have? Kusta's up on B, but this time Keserato's actually there. He's not left his sight open. Kusta's going to try and win the fight, and he falls, leaving Automatic in the clutch. And this is the night map point in the way of Fury. Ooh. I'm not going to come through. Henny with a nice little deeg shot over the top of Sandbags. And this investment to try and keep the dream alive is really not Whoa, what you'd want. They're going to try yeah. a B play and they do get some results on the back of it. Som getting out through mid in the meantime does get cut down by Henny on this rotation, but the B site belongs to Gen G. As they try and get back into this site, and boy, they do. Yuri in with the opener. Automatic does remove one, and Buntet, his attention gets peeled away from the ramp just for a moment. That's when Art tries to move in, but with no kills getting offered up, he knows all he can do is save. 11 on the board for Gen G, a B site play does yield them the results they were hoping for. Yeah, Fury weren't getting any fights towards CT or scaffolding the AWP for your next rifle round, because now they're not going to have an AWP when they buy after this round, and Art's going to be on a pistol. Now, let's see if he makes it worth it, right? If he gets two, three kills here, he can win this round off for Furio, and they've already traded one for one with low health on DAP, so the value is there. The value is the, the potential of winning the round, but it, it feels like more often than not, you're not going to win a round with an AWP and four pistols. Art, though, he feels like maybe he can take matters into his own hands, but if he pushes, Kusta is in the office of angles. He should have this kill. Art's checking it. Oh my, Art is ready for any position. Doesn't matter where you sit, where you stand. You cannot escape him. Art's gone back towards B. That's where the execute is. Don't tell me this solo AWP is going to win the round and the map for Furia. There's an AWP posted. Art avoids it. Vinny takes a bullet. And oh dear, Daps is low as well. He's been finished off. There's a winnable round in the hands of Furia. Deagles can provide sa uh, safety here. And Art's got another kill. He's on four. The hero AWP and Bentet in a one on two to save the day. To keep this one going for Genji. It's not happening. Art's found the AWP ace. He is on his own and he's made it happen here for Furia. That is why you buy the AWP on an eco. And that was the only bit of utility that Genji had. So they're really going to feel the lack of that smoke when this play looks to come in. Furia, they baited it out. And now they run in towards this B bomb site. They get it under their hand instantly. Now Vinny does have this bomb. He's very aggressive in CT versus this smoke, the Fury of Flight. You really can't even find that fight there with that smoke down, except for now that the time has elapsed, the smoke is gone. It's Kusta and company trying to get back in the site. Tim Ta is not going to be able to do it. And now to one on two, Kusta. He's not going to do it either. Fury of pick up a pistol. Now, I think some people may just forget where Kusta came from. CT as Furia rushed and Daps has to fall off and they get caught out and spawned. Not the pistol Genji wanted and well that's not what Automatic, automatic wanted either but Art's going to deliver it anyway. Fast play up long. He gets himself into the spawn. Som hears this but this shotgun is perfect for the range but <laughs> as shotguns sometimes are inconsistency. 80 damage down to 12 on Art. Okay, so Art's going to start push up lane and he's killed two. So A's open and Kusta is too far away to have any impact into this round. Talking of which, they are going to be able to flash this position automatic on the corner. Kusta again wins a fight down Banana. He takes significant damage, but a five on three has put Furia oh. double down into this A site. The missed jump on the porch. Bentet knows they're close as well. And Furia, desperate times here. They've got no more grenades, but a single smoke on Vinny. Would have been cool. I do love the idea. Bintet now has all the information that he needs. And now it's just going to be the dismantling of what's left of this Furia hit on the A site. Daps from the cubby. Both Yuri and Art are very, very low. 50 seconds on the clock. Pop Flash going to come in for Daps. He's not going to peek off the back because his automatic is ready nice. for the trade regardless. That's and doing really that, nice. Yuri knows that he can 
kind of seek out, find that last kill in the daps, but ultimately it's Jinji that finds the whole round. Pushing this banana control to Furia. And that's something I really think that you can't afford to do, especially not early on. Kusta tries to go aggressive and will come out on the worst side of it. Keserato barreling through that smoke, lays him to rest. In the meantime, the rest of Furia get out over in the oh top boy. of mid, looking like they want to try and split this B bomb Ooh. site. Vinny shutting down another. Now, as all these smokes are going in, someone will have to go back and get that oh bomb. Dear. But Automatic is getting pinched. They're on either side, and he's still alive, still fighting. Ooh. Automatic putting up. A real hold at this B-bomb site and tucked in the corner oh, is Yuri. No. Swinging on wide, deals with automatic, and now Bunta and Daps in a two on four might just have to save, and that's if Yuri lets them. Relentless in his pursuit in through CT, securing a double. Daps has been spotted and will get dealt with as well. Five on the board for Fury. Oh, well, we do get to see one of these orbs chiming in, some making its presence known, but the rest of Fury are in these smokes, trying to get into the site. This will leave Kusta going unchecked, and now Whoa. he makes his position known with the UMP, goes on a bit of a killing spree. Rotations coming in for Gen G, and that bomb... And it's just a standoff at the B-bomb site. Who breaks first? The answer gonna be Henny. Oh, dear. And he will get away, just about. To the side, Furia, three deep, trying to take the B site. Daps gets just straight up owned at the tree. There's no way around that one. Henny's going to get one for himself. Now we got a 3v3 inside of the B site. Genji have to move fast. The Molotov is down. It's actually missed. Henny's not going to get mollied. It's actually towards the back of the site. So he can stand tall on the orange position, dropping some. That might even just call the bail for G uh, Genji. They might just want to leave with whatever they've got right now because Furia still have three up. Henny looking for another fight gets dropped, but the time it's ticked away. There's no kills presenting themselves. And now Furia just going to hunt down Genji as they try and escape, try and fail. Bintet, though, nice kills in the back line, but it's going to be meaningless. He dies as well. Furia find a sixth round. Wants to go any further. I imagine he will with this utility going into the B bomb site. And now the rotation should Ooh, be looking to come through. Wow. Kusta with a great hold there. The MP9 doing the damage. The M4 to pepper them and finish the round off. Henny all alone. He's spotted. He's caught out in the open. He thought he was crawling into pool, but that is not the case. He gets stuck on the wall. They're going to move up middle. Oh, taking banana as well. That's a deep grenade. Oh, it's going to get flashed through this smoke. Who's just in the car? Oh, dear, it's a messy one. Who's has a jump and he's getting fired back out by Keserato. He won't escape. Probably would have been safer just to run away, but it's now going to be a trade for Furia. And Yuri hits a timing. He's found himself up archway. Daps is waiting. He's got a spray. Does, be, uh, does get away into the library as well. Actually, stays in the okay. smoke. He's expecting a bit of a push through and he's read this one right. He's coming and Daps is stopped him. Molly hits him in the face though and the bullets will follow. Daps does everything he needs to do though. It's going to be a group up scenario. Bintet flashes off towards Arch. They can take a peek in the form of Som. Little has Bintet know. They're rounding out the site right now. They're already passing the hay cart and it's just K Serato in a 1v3. Yeah, a lot on his plate here for Keserato. Mm, yeah. Will get wrapped in through long. Bentet just being a nuisance down in the pit. Oh, it's a big old mid play from Furia. Really picking up the pace here in round 14. Oh, Missed shot from Automatic. Goes back in and hits it the second time around. Now, there is a man who's been able to slip by. And these players inside of the site are going to have to be prepared to deal with that. Vinny. Trying to get up, trying to get vision into the pit, but Dap sends him packing. Kusta wrapping in through short side, and now it's only Keserato left. He will deal with the first man, but the trade is instantaneous from Bentet. Rotate would be a risk, so Som is not doing it. He's actually throwing a smoke, but they burst in with a pop flash contact play for Furia again. These have been so good for them, but Som sprays down through the smoke. Yeah, they're going to boost Daps up. He's going to have a shot here to have on Henny. Can't seem to land it necessarily. And it's Som who goes down eventually, one of the mainstays of what this B defense was. Now that the boss planted, Furia find themselves in a position where they actually have control. And clears out quad now. These other two players are close, and the flashbang is stellar. Vinny trying to repeat on the back of it, but he gets shut down. It falls to Henny with four points of health at Banana. They not able to find it, but Daps is on the defuse, and it's nine on the board for Genji. For qualifying for said major. Here we go, Daps up close and personal, making it uncomfortable here on a B fight, but it's Bintet with the kills, and that's gonna force Vinny back into the site.
Yeah, but he's got a lot to answer for here in this round. It all rests on his shoulders and how successful he is in this position. And he gets dealt with almost immediately. Keiserato and Yuri left in this one, 2v4. The bomb plant now coming through a little bit later into the round. And that at least allows Fury to be here, knocking on the door of Gen G. Yuri. Ooh. Out from Banana, Keserato, good for one, but he is traded, and there's the repeat from Automatic. Gen G, they lock in a pistol round. Let's see if he can face these T's as they run into the site. Keserato ready to peek off the back of Sound, and he's got a couple mowing them down off this M4. Bomb has been dropped. There's plenty of time for Gen G, but they need to rig Keserato off the back of this site. They know there are two, and Automatic deals with them both. A third man behind the coffin smoke. The plant is required here. That smoke comes down, but the coffin's one fades, and now cover needs to be found. Kusa needs to make sure Automatic isn't peaked while planting. Oh, boy. oh and that's exactly what happens. Kusta, he's peaked why? while planting. Oh my goodness. Genji not being very discreet in their movements. And so Art has left Speedway, rejoining his teammates over inside of the site. A missed shot from Henny and Yuri hidden in this pit smoke. It is a mop up. Kusta trying to do what he can, but ultimately it's not going to be enough. Fury at eight on the board. Vinny is scoped in in a nice angle. But here comes a util. Smoke will be late, but they've already crossed to the pool and automatic has taken down R. Keserato won't ha uh, hold on much longer either. And Vinny, he's trying to stop the plant, but it's behind the blue box. He can't get a kill. Might kind of stop the equalization that was Furia running it back on him on that CT side. Four retakes when, you're, when your money is hanging in the balance. Ooh. A fast play from Gen G. Maybe not the order of the day as Yuri rises to the occasion. My word. Daps will come in with a trade, but it's a huge three for one down here towards short side. Henny looking every which way, and that's going to lead to him getting dealt with somehow. I, I, this round has just been so fast, so hectic, so back and forth. We're into a two on two. There's a chance at a buy, but I, I don't even know if you'd want to take it. Towards the boiler room, but Kusta hasn't pressed up all the way. Meanwhile, on the B site is the hit and the bomb. Two on three in the B site. Kusas died on A meanwhile, so it's all down to this play. That last player on A can rotate round if needed. Gen G fighting tooth and nail. They've lost the bomb. They've got a kill, but there's still one more man at the back of the site. Yuri has not been cleared up. He's got two to his name, 22 in the game. How many more? He's climbed above. Oh, no one's looking. He's got the info on Dabs. He sees him in the pit, but he doesn't want to fire. Player below him, and Yuri, oh, missed shot. He's getting, get, gonna get one, but he gets traded. That could have been the round there for Furia on this eco, but now it's Dabs on his own. For the bomb to have gone down, Daps now just holding his ground. Vinny wants to test the water, oh. and Daps with the shot on the AK. No one is holding oh on to this wrap from R, and that leads to Automatic's demise. That bomb is even dropped down in pool. Automatic was the man with it. This round might just fall apart now for Gen G. Chill. For Gen G to try and save this round on the back of. And it's the fact that they just don't know the numbers what? that surely is going to cause the problems. Kusta in a 1v1, but this is a very winnable 1v1. Somehow, some way, the bomb has been retrieved. Very little time on the clock. He's got a stick Kusta he have a sticks choice. it. He actually gets the bomb down. Vinny tried to play with the timings, and now he's left himself in the 1v1. Kusta's given time to reposition. And Vinny, he's got to land the instant shot, or else this round will elude Fury. Kusta holds wow. the line, and Genji match and series point. Hold the weapon. Banana's been conceded, and Yuri's going to get aggressive. He dropped a bomb in it. Oh, trade attempt to Kusa with a whiff spray. Does finish off the job, and he can go back for that bomb as well. Genji, if they group B right now, that's a, a recipe for disaster for Furia. Even as Genji head back, they send Automatic into this B bomb site, looking for kills, looking to try and gain a foothold, but that's not where this bomb uh -oh. looked like it was going to end up. However, with Automatic delivering that kill, suddenly it comes back to Banana, back to B. All the pressure's on Kesar. Oh, no. And he offers up the first, but the trade is in for Kusta. Henny, it looked like his position was going to seal the deal in this round, and now it does fall to him, but in a 1v2 retake. Creeping on in, Henny looking for these openers, and that nade might deal with one of these players. A bit of damage onto Automatic. He swings, but Henny offered up the kill. Not ready for the CT man. Kusta solidifies it. It's 16 on the board for Genji.